Chuck Karstensen, and I have another video tip for you today. This one is about being consistent. It's early stages of a new year. A lot of people have goals, ideas, resolutions, and to stay consistent on them the whole year through all 12 months, you have to set expectations with yourself that make sense. Something that you can do. Something that you can keep the pace up of. So in order to do that, you have to be reasonable. So I'm going to give you an example of one or two of my expectations, goals, ideas. So one thing I want to improve on in 2015 is network more, connect with more people. I'm kind of a behind the scenes, behind the computer person. Sure, I share a lot of videos, but I actually go out there and talk to people one on one. I hadn't done that that much in the, future, in the past, and going forward, I want to do that more. So initially, when I had this idea last year, late last year, I thought I'm going to meet with 10 people a week, you know, outside of real estate, 10 people a week and connect with them. That's two a day. I can do that. And then I found out that I could do that, but it's not likely I'm going to do that. But for me to meet with five people a week, one a day on average, might be two here, two there, and then one another day. And there he is, five days five people in a week, I can do that. That's something I can be consistent with all year through because that 10 person a week, that was just too much for me. Now you're doing a different business maybe or in a different situation, so 10 may be perfectly fine with you on a one-to-one -one basis, but for me, I thought, ah, I'm improving because I hadn't been meeting with five a week, but that's something I can do. That's an ex example. A lot of times with workouts, I've talked to this about this in a recent video, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to work out more often than not. Meaning you can't work out seven days a week. And if, and really, if you say I'm going to work out three days a week and it's going to be these three days, it may not work out that way. How about you just work out more often than not and you got seven days in a week. More often than not, it's probably three or four days. Schedule it in there. But if you get a day that gets bumped back, Pick up another day. For me, that means I got to get up early. I got to set the alarm clock earlier than I had been to schedule it in. It's just a decision. It's really not that hard. Getting up at five or seven feels the same to me. I, I don't want to get up, but I do it. <laughs> and, and the more I get up and the more I have that habit, it works out better. So those are a couple examples of being consistent with something that's reasonable as you move forward in your goals. A lot of people set these high expectations that, especially in business, I'm going to call 50 people a week because this one coach told me to call 50 people a week and if I call them all, I'm going to do a billion dollars in business. And what happens? You call 50 people one week and nobody gets back to you and two tell them to go F off and, and a couple people meet with you and you don't get anywhere and you're like, this sucks. I don't want to do that. So what's a reasonable expectation for you and your contacts? Make it higher than it was before so you can make progress, but do something you can actually do and be consistent and true to yourself with. Hope that makes sense. That should help you. Break it down. Go out. Reasonable expectations. Do them with consistency. That's how you're going to have progress. And then at the end of the year, or at a certain point in the year, you're going to look back and say, gosh, that was a prosperous year because I did it that way. Have a blessed day. Chuck Carstens in Remax Results. I'm going to introduce you to one of my new websites, theprosperityleader.com. Check it out.